but they thought like, you know, they're like, oh, you're having fun with your nerd friends. And then I showed my dad Peggy spitting in the mouth of a fan. Lately, I've been feeling like every time I stream, I'm like, this is one of the best. Lately, I've been feeling like every stream I do, I'm like, damn, bro, how is he going to top this? I'm not going to lie. I think yesterday's stream was one for the books, boys. It straight up was. I don't know how many of you guys actually watched the whole thing. Okay. I don't know how many of you guys hung out through the whole thing, but God damn, that shit was fire. Dude, Peggy is the coolest. Like, actually. Um, for those of you who weren't there, JPEG Mafia, Peggy, is now a friend of the show, came over, we've been talking for a while, I've been meaning to have him on, just like Kevin Abstract, also been meaning to have Kevin on, except he's always busy, just saying Kevin Abstract, maybe he is just abstract, he's just a abstraction, I don't know about Kevin Abstract, but he's absent from the stream, that's right. Um, there is no, I said NBA young band, never banned again. Day three. There is no typo in the title. Chill out. You silly goose honk. You're being a silly goose. Anyway. So this is, uh, this is day three of not being banned off the broadcast. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yesterday it was a little touch and go. This is part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, but honestly, there's literally nothing going on. I didn't even go work out this morning. Um, uh, can you guys stop sending me the myth clip of me being jabated or something like the jabated myth clip? Can we, can you guys just not do that? Uh, I, I think like, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Like people in the discord are just like trying to troll. It's fun. So anyway, um, having Peggy on was sick myth on yesterday. Here, dude, here, here you go. Here, 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 here. This is what you want me to watch, but it, it says jabated. I have found out what Hassan is really doing. How Hassan is really baiting me, all right? And it's not what you guys think or how you guys think it is. Hassan puts a little, he gets a little fishing line, right? He gets a little fishing line, right? And he, at the end of it, he puts gaming at the end of it. <laughs> and then he, he goes, Myth, look, we're going to game, dude. Come over. We have gaming. And I'm like, That's true. yes, we're going to be gaming. Fuck yeah. Bro, he was so stoked the game. We talked about playing Halo next time. They're both on. Like he cast it out and he pulls it in, pulls me in, pulls me in. And what? Oh, react Andy for six hours. Sorry, dude. Whoops. He loved it though. The thing is, the thing is, like, first of all, everybody complains about how much like react content react randall content i do but like you love it someone in chat was saying you only invite him over because he was black yeah i banned like 12 people yesterday that literally were just like oh glad to see hassan found black people to agree with him on the cracker stuff and it was like dude that is such a major self-report like that is i'm sorry that but like you're a huge racist if you just like, if you see black people as, like, uh, vehicles to make a point in your mind and not, like, just regular people that you are friends with. Like, that is insane. It's just, like, a completely insane. This was me, Matt. This was myth after the memeing. The only game that got played was me. <laughs> I love Ali so much. Oh, fuck a fax. Me. No, I'm just kidding. I actually, I really did enjoy the time yesterday on yesterday's stream. In general, even without the Halo, it was super fun. It was super good time. <clears throat> but we do still want to play Halo together. And Peggy said he was still down. He was still down to uh, play Halo. So Halo will still happen on another occasion. Yeah. You three used to have crazy chemistry. It was awesome. It, it, was, it was dope. It was so much fun. Like, usually when you have, even when you have, like, Twitch streamers on sometimes, like, the vibes might be a little off. Like people can't figure out what the balance is, right? People can't just like figure out what the balance is. Like, how are we going to make content? How are we going to be like, how are we going to have fun? Like I, I show a lot of weird shit to people and people sometimes don't really respond well to that. You know what I mean? And, uh, because, of, or, or sometimes people are like afraid they pull their punches. Like they're afraid to say some political shit. You know what I mean? Um, partially because they're like afraid of coming across uneducated or partially because they're just like 
they don't want people to know what their point of view is and 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 luckily i mean uh, peggy was just so cool holy shit i mean he was just straight up dope as fuck um especially because like i've listened to some of his music but like i only knew of his politics and of his like point of view and his background a little bit so i didn't know how he was going to respond to you know being on stream and my dude he he spent like eight hours on camera <laughs> it was awesome like it was just so much fun yeah he was super cool and he was so much goddamn fun thank you for teaching myth it's always fun yo myth's gonna teach me dude myth had some woke ass takes brother it was dope good to good to see him come out of his shell a little bit people don't people forget that like myth is still like you know 22 years old he's very young he's still a growing boy he's still a growing boy who is uh you know developing his uh world view uh he's he's, he's such a wonderful person overall that you know he missed it i missed it because of the end but that's sick yeah all well and good i still want to know what the fuck's in that porn package yeah we'll do that what Capella MC. Oh, Madison Cawthorn, dude. RIP. RIP to Madison Cawthorn. He ain't dead, but he's a victim of divorce court. Okay, the last thing the last thing I'll explain. The funniest part about all of this is my parents. Like, remember, my dad thinks marijuana is heroin. Okay. There's no distinction between like weed and heroin for him. Like, that's how much of a narc he is. He's never smoked ever in his entire life. He like doesn't even drink. Okay. He doesn't do any of that. So, so my dad and mom, they're like walking past and we're just like having a great time. And basically like after the stream was over, we were talking and they're like, wow, they, uh, my mom already knows Ali. Like she's met him a bunch of times. She loves Ali, obviously. Myth is like the number one uh, uh, person for moms and dads. He's like the kindest person ever. So like obviously parents love, love him, but they thought like, you know, we're like, oh, you're having fun with your nerd friends. And then I showed my dad Peggy spitting in the mouth of a fan. And he was like, oh, no, no, he was like, what the fuck? Astaghfirullah, what are you showing me? He's like, he just like, he, he just got like real f turba, turba, astaghfirullah, nigga studio somewhere. He's just like, he was shocked. He's like, what the f It's like, I'm like, I'm like, dad, just cause he's, just cause he's like, you know, just because he's like chill right now doesn't mean he's not like a f rock star. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> this dude is like, I'm trying to explain to him. Like, I'm like the dude that's like sitting there. He's, he's like a f rock star. You know what I mean? He does like crazy shit. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I want him to understand. Is Peggy still invited? Bitch, it's my house. What do you mean? Is he still invited? I invite whoever the f I want to my own house's Christmas shit. Anyway, it was just like really funny. Yeah, I'm gonna have Danny Brown over and then I'm gonna show them the video of him getting sucked off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Uh, uh, why embarrass him when he's coming to the party? Your dad will bring that up. There's zero. My dad doesn't speak English, dude. What the f do you mean? He got a doctorate in economics from the London School of Economics and he refuses to speak English. That's how anti America my dad is, okay? He literally refuses to speak English. Like he can and refuses. Okay. He's just, my dad, my dad communicates in the United States of America with grunts. Okay. Outside of the house. First of all, he's only speaking Turkish, but outside of the house, he's just grunting. Like he never speaks English. He can speak English, refuses to. Okay. But like, yes, that's the most, the most you'll ever get out of him is like, who? Like he'll like, He'll like point to something because he is, he's a very cool guy. He's the coolest guy. He just thinks he's so f cool. Okay. Like he'll go up to, uh, he'll go up to the counter, at like a coffee shop or something. And he wants donuts. He loves treats. He'll point to donuts. Like he'll go. Ew. And the guy will just be like, what, what do you, what do you want? Sir? He's like points to it too. Like he puts the fucking. He puts the fingers up like, oh yeah, that was the problem. Like they didn't understand what was going on. Yes. Ooh. So he's never, he, what just happened? That was weird as fuck. Anyway, he will never in a million years, uh, ever. He, he will not, he will not speak English. He just refuses to. So 
and that's probably like the the thing is like that's probably how he uh uh that's probably how a lot of immigrant dads are like too you know what i mean like i i, I suspect he's not the only immigrant dad who's like that he just like does not like to speak english like he just not he doesn't like doing it cool and then he'll do like uh he'll he'll break the the cold you know outer shell he has for only a brief moment to crack like a baby smile to be like thank like he won't say thank you but he'll do this like something like that and it's just like that's how you know he's thanking you that's the way he's thanking you he's not even bilingual he's trilingual mother speaks fluent german he went to a german high school in turkey so he's just like he's not even bilingual he's he knows more languages than i do he just refuses to speak it he doesn't refuse to speak german though which like he he will speak german he just refuses to speak english <laughs> it's really funny yeah learns three languages and only speaks one for the most part anyway how did he get that qualification english people are renowned for not speaking any other languages wait what english people are renowned my dad is turkish bro what the fuck do you mean did you just automatically assume my family is like english or something what part of it is because like you know he has like a he has like a like a fuck america attitude a little bit despite being a citizen now he does not like America. Like he, he respects America because he's like, you know, he's Mr. Capitalism. Like he was, he is a big neo-lib or was a big neo-lib for most of his life. But he just like, <laughs> he's, he, he does not like what America does to the rest of the world. You know what I mean? But still respects it and definitely prefers it to China. He's terrified of China. Anyway, I should stop talking. You said he got a qualification with the London School of Economics. Bitch, he speaks. He spoke it back then. What do you mean? Like, obviously... The reason why I brought that up is because like he can speak fluently. That's the funny part. He can speak English to a degree where he literally got a, a doctorate in economics in the London school of economics. Do you understand? Like that's how much of a command he has over the language. And over the course of the 30 years that I've been on this planet, I've heard him utter five words in English, never a full constructed sentence. Do you understand this dude literally Got a doctorate in economics from the London School of Economics. So clearly he knows how to speak English. Okay. Like very well to a degree where he can like communicate and, and, you know, defend his dissertation, all this, all this sort of stuff. And the only time I've never heard him speak a paragraph in English, my entire life refuses. He just straight up, not even in private. Okay. Just refuses, which is really funny. Only communicates in grunts. How well do you know Turkish? What do you mean? It's my, it's my first language. I'm fluent in Turkish. In my mind, your dad is a dude from I think you should leave who doesn't want the steering wheel to fly off. Cool dude of a few words. Repeats the point until it takes. He never calls customer service? He doesn't. No, dude. He's going to get my mom to do shit like that. What are you, crazy? My dad never. What? No. And he also, he loves, he loves Turkey, not because of like the imperialism stuff, obviously, because like he, he does not mind when Turkey does shit like that, but uh, no, he, he just like loves being a king, you know what I mean? And he, he's like the king of his own kingdom in Turkey and he doesn't have that here in America. So he, I don't think he likes that. If we're like going to psychoanalyze what he's, what, what, what's going on in his mind. So weird laws like a side of your father you have no idea about what the fuck, what him speaking English has nothing to do with like a side of him that I know about or don't know about. Dude, what are you talking about? Do you think that privilege begets privilege? Seems like you had a lot of access to symbolic capital growing up, bro. Bitch, not just symbolic capital. I had access to capital capital, too. Yeah, I grew up affluent. Dog, I had a horse. The fuck do you mean? What do you think that, what, what do you think that suggests to you? It's always so funny, though, whenever motherfuckers are like, you're a trust fund, baby. It's like, no, I'm not. But it doesn't matter. Because when you, when you are, uh, like, my dad lost all of his money, right? By the time I got to, by the time I got to college and his dad did the exact same thing before him. Right. But ultimately it doesn't matter because it's not, this is the common capitalist meme that a lot of reactionaries and people like Ben Shapiro, uh, basically get you to believe, which is like inheritance only comes in the form of a trust fund or affluence only comes in the form of like direct cash infusions. No dude, it's the freedoms. 
it's the freedoms afforded to you from an affluent uh in a when you come from an affluent background originally it's the it's the liberties that you get to not have to work not have to struggle to get whatever you need whether it's you know educational material or even fun shit you know and and that stuff is that's that stuff is huge obviously one of the most important parts about that though one of the most important parts about that that uh situation is having uh the network right which i totally cucked when i came to america cuz like that that is like the biggest part even if you don't have the money or if you have the money you still have the network right and i wasn't able to take advantage of that because i came to america because i wanted to come to america anyway i was low key horse girl too before 2008 like, let's go anyway i'm sorry that's weird but what's the kind of relationship your uncle and your dad have what i don't know i don't fucking know dude I, I, uh, mm, 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 mm. uh the new matrix sucks is not really surprising Zendaya follow hassan abai in the works Man, I have to say that yesterday was one of your best dreams of the year, if not the best. Peggy's incredible synergy with Myth made the 11 plus hours pure entertainment and information. Yeah, I thought it was like, it was pretty fucking good, I Six think. Six months. Fire. It, it, the saddest part is like, Twitch is very unforgiving, right? Or, or Twitch chat and Twitch audiences are very unforgiving. And uh, I'm speaking to you at the moment. But like, you guys demonstrate undying loyalty uh, to a particular streamer. And even if you were like at some point Love a fan of fresh. mine but then you became a fan of another streamer, you will just never, you'll miss out on a lot of good content that I might be putting out because you're just not watching. And I think that a lot of people in this last round of LSF saga, LSF drama, straight the fuck up were just like, Hassan is a racist a against white people and I and I identify as a white person and, and that's like upsetting, so I'm just not even gonna watch when he does fun shit. I'm only gonna watch to see him potentially get banned again. And then they just miss out on good shit. You know, that was a, that was easy. That should have easily been a 50 K to 60 K stream. Not that it matters. Cause I had an awesome time and it doesn't, you know, but a lot of people just like straight up, well, you are racist. So yeah, totally. See that guy, this is the guy I'm talking about. I'm writing and recording album right now. I'm rapping a lot about socialism, socialism, but I'm scared. I'm going to cut off large possible audience by speaking out on these issues. Can you ask JPEG Mafia to give me advice, please? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that an audience you'd miss? I mean, I want everybody to watch my shit and enjoy it and realize that I'm not like a bad person. And then the whole point of what I do, the whole point of what I do is, you know, I want to get as many people to watch this and think I'm not like a bad person, but, th and think I'm like a cool, personable individual. So they're more warm uh, and welcoming to the ideas that I represent. You know what I mean? You go blast it off. Bernie says, congratulations to the Starbucks Workers United on the historic achievement of organizing the first ever union at a company-owned Starbucks in the United States. The company should stop pouring money into the fight against the union and negotiate a fair contract now. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>